absolutely tickled how the bottom came out. Just look how much depth is in this water feature. It's just low, that kind of a cavern stuck down in there. Come up through here, and there's a waterfall on that side. Water coming in that side. Runs on up through here, look at the crevice. And I really like how this waterfall turned out. Just splits around that little column of rock and love it. I'm standing here on a the, the edge of a pond and there's this overflow drainage that we are gonna be building a sweet waterfall on and I got a surprise for you. I got my buddy Dan Harp all the way from the West Coast on Washington State. Convinced him to come in here and give us a hand. Here we go. Hey Dan, what's up? You excited for this project? Yeah, this is awesome. These rocks are sweet. <laughs> Pretty much a, a dream of a canvas. Oh yeah, yeah, the rock is sweet. The uh, el the elevation we have to work with will be awesome. Yeah, it's pretty dramatic. Out really, really cool. We got like 10, 12 feet of elevation. Yeah. So it's gonna be awesome. Basically whatever we can dream up, we can build. The idea is to get the stream up between these rocks here. Right, yeah. The focal point being like around this area. Yeah. You know, we want yeah. to try to do that. If we make the water feature like end somewhere right right down here in this area with the last falls about right there. Is that does that sound right? All right, sounds good. We want to be able to see it still from in the house. Yeah. You know, on the porch. But um is this like a sun sunroom or something? Sun yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll, we want to make sure that you get good viewing because that's where you spend most, or a lot of your time anyway, so, especially in Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, what do you think? Is it everything you hoped and dreamed for? I love it, I love it, I love it. What do you think, pup? Is this your new dog bowl? Huh? Is this your new dog bowl? Huh? There we go, people. This is our 10 foot long Appalachian Run Pondless Waterfall. It is one of our most, well, it probably is, is our most popular pondless waterfall. And it's probably one of your best bang for your buck too, with uh, the investment and what you get for it. It's, it's really nice. We're ripping into this. Rush bank, beautiful location for a water feature. Base is going in right, right in that square there. Streams meandering up through here. Have great viewing from this deck all the way around. Series of about four cascades with some deep still water sections of stream with a fall starting right up there in the back underneath those trees to uh, give good viewing from the new addition that's going up there at the top. So excited to start this build. Out here in the flatlands of Ohio, we're right beside a lake or pond, and this is their toy barn garage out there. Houses aren't even here yet. A nice pavilion here, right here where this waterfall is going to be. This is the beginnings of our basin. We're going to be digging in our basin here for our Appalachian Run 16-foot pondless waterfall, which is going to run up the bank there towards the excavator. So it's going to be a pretty nice. It's a beautiful location, and excited to see how this waterfall adds to everything that's going on here and gives this pavilion like the central focal point of the whole project. This is the uh, project. We had this huge mound that was added. Basically, this set of steps goes up to this crazy sliding board. Check this out. One incredible sliding board into that beautiful lake. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. These guys did a great job. Matt's brother-in-law and the business he works for out here in Lima, Ohio. Dream place for sure. But anyway, they had this mound here. So Jerry was like, hey, could uh, get Matt and Tussie out here and uh, It'd be a cool waterfall, so that's, long story short, that's what happened. Really, really happy with how this whole thing turned out. A couple of my favorite things are, I love multi-tiered waterfalls like this, where, you know, drops down, pulls up, kicks into the side. I just absolutely love that multi-tiered look. So you got this up here, big thick gusher coming in there, and just some raw white water crashing off the edge of that boulder there. And I also love, this is my second favorite thing, when it when you get like a, a, a kind of a pillar boulder kind of locking that in and water coming in coming in from the behind that boulder and turning and falling right back in this way. So it comes around right around that, that point of that boulder there. Really happy how that turned out. And these waterfalls up here turned out really, really nice too. Just a good old gusher there. This was awesome. I like these triangular shaped holes like between three rocks. I think it makes it look so cool. You get to shoot in this way and shoot out that way. Overall, super pumped with how it turned out. Matt's over here plugging into Bubba and Rock. Let me go show you that. Is this ready to be filmed yet? Oh. Is this ready to be filmed yet? Oh my. There we go. There we got some water. Nice. Nice neat valve job there. This is basically like the Cascade, except it has the weathered limestone borders instead of the sandstone. So, a little different look. 
same, technically everything's the same, other than the borders, but that's nice. That's kind of cool. I like that.